How to play Stellar Monarch? Politics. As the Emperor, you don't run the Empire alone. You have your Imperial officials to help you. They come in different types. You have the Imperial Court, local planetary governors and officers. Those helpers have statistics like competence, loyalty and corruption. Uh, military has no corruption, that's the exception. What does this mean? Competence is how good this person is at whatever it's dying. Like if for officers it would be how well they lead the fleets for uh, imperial officials, uh, for imperial courtiers would be how good they are at working on departments and for plant and governments how good they are at managing a planet. Loyalty is how much they support the emperor. If the loyalty of high people, high, high rank people, because they have ranks, uh, falls to low, well, it means additional rebel points are generated and they well, might want to rebel. And corruption is how much money they steal. So let's take a view what each type is doing. Planetary governors and are running the planet. And you don't have much direct control over them. The um, Imperial Court is assigning them and you have options like edicts to uh, promote the most competent ones or honest ones. And once sometimes you have uh, the event, audience event, where you can uh, make a review of those planter governors and fire the most incompetent one or the most corrupted one. Or if you want you may say I want to fire the most incompetent one except those who are loyal to me because you want to promote the loyalty even if they are not too smart. Now officers. Officers belong to different fleets and we have the admiral which can be summoned to the court and you can fire him. Uh, we have the Vice Admiral and the Commodores who lead individual squadrons. In addition, you can summon the Admiral and order installing a political officer. If you decide to install the political officer in a fleet, the, well, the competence will fall down but the loyalty will rise. So it's a trade-off. And the most important one and the, the the one that you have the most direct control it's the Imperial Court because they were well, next to the Emperor. They are divided into departments and ranks. Those on the bottom are the less important so it's not... Uh, well if they are less competent it's not a problem but if someone incompetent is on the top it's well they have like five times uh, more these stats in affecting what they do all right and what they are doing here they belong to departments and each department has average competence of the courtiers working there which grants a bonus like Department of Defense is affecting army morale and you have a chance for a good or bad event related to the, to the department and it's affected by the competence. The more competent ones the more good events related to them you get. And the last thing the balance of power between court factions. Each courtier belongs to one faction, traditionalists, 
gene technologies, warlords, and those factions have influence in the court. And what you want to do is to keep them in check, balanced. Like in this case, we have the gene technologies have they have too much influence, and they might think that they might run the empire without you. The stability is falling down; it causes internal troubles. So we want those are those from the green ones to get rid of or move somewhere to lower positions and so on. What can we do? Well, we could fire like that one and that one. And well, we run almost run out of political points. Well, th the problem is you you can't do replace everyone at once. You have a s limited number of political points to do it. So so you want you you can't do everything at once. Let's go for the next turn. Oh yes, it's it's slightly better. It's slightly better. Well, you need to simply try to adjust it. And we have the audience. Then the last one. Let's see what events we got. We have from the treasury department. We have a good event. Great. And injustice. Justice in part has an injustice event. Well, not so great. So maybe they are not too competent. Well, well they are quite competent. There was just bad luck. All right, that's it. Thanks.